Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Be sure to check me out over on Rumble. There you'll find all of my stuff from YouTube, plus my political and social commentary and weekly current events, which YouTube frowns on. Links to my Rumble channel, as well as my other YouTube channels, and links to let you order my books are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing an unexplained place video on Barsak Plateau. Barsak Plateau is located in Kazakhstan. Since long before recorded time, this geographic, geographic feature has been the focus of folklore and tales of the strange and macabre. Ancient nomadic tribes believed the plateau housed spirits which confounded and confused travelers. Accordingly, they avoided the area as much as possible. When trade routes were established, camel caravans avoided it as well. <clears throat> Tales of travelers venturing onto the plateau for a journey of just a few months, which in actuality turned out to be decades, uh, you know, the, the long, long trips, like decades long, are commonplace. They thought it was going to be a couple of months. Turns out it was decades long. Modern day investigators report the inexplicable malfunction of electronic equipment on the plateau. <clears throat> this is a regular occurrence. People have brought instruments to detect radiation and, and magnetic anomalies, only to have these instruments malfunction as well. It's hard to get scientific readings when your scientific equipment doesn't work. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this, is, this is a weird one. Another odd occurrence happens sometimes. Uh, when people have a prolonged exposure to the plateau, their skin inexplicably turns blue. Yeah, that's that's documented. I don't I don't understand that. I don't know if it's the blood coming to the surface or they they seem fine. Their their skin just turns blue. It's freaking weird. Um, the pla the plateau has an en enigmatic moniker. Uh, let's see, quote, whoever comes here shall not return, close quote. I, I, this, is a, this is a local thing. I had never heard of this, but it's crazy. <clears throat> Whatever the cause or reason for all of the anomalies on Barsak Plateau, the one thing that is certain is a lack of scientific consensus. Some attribute it all to unique geomagnetic properties of the region. Others believe the anomalies stem from rare atmospheric conditions, but how are we supposed to know? Nobody can measure the things. Nobody can nobody can go and investigate because all their scientific equipment goes kaflui. Yeah, that's the scientific term, kaflui. You know. Local residents blame everything from malevolent spirits to jinn to ancient evil gods to sorcerers to even to aliens. <clears throat> there seem to be as many theories as there are grains of sand in the surrounding desert. It's crazy. One of the things that, that I find interesting is there are reports of UFOs in the area, unexplained lights in the sky, that kind of thing, but nothing out of, not, it's not a hot spot for UFOs. It's not, you know, they don't report a whole bunch of them. There's not a, a lot of alien abductions there, at least none that are reported. Um, it's almost like, there's a, I don't know, for lack of a better word, a black hole there that affects everything in the area. But nobody can measure it because anytime you go there, your scientific equipment goes, go. there's that kerfluey again. But it's hard, to, it's hard to investigate something when nothing works. It's hard to investigate a source when people are afraid to go there. You can't get guides to take you there. When <clears throat> travelers are going across it on camel, and it's supposed to be a couple of months, and it takes decades to get across this thing. Yeah, they're, 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 I can see why people wouldn't want to go there, you know? Um, it, it just goes on and on and on. Whatever the cause of these temporal or electromagnetic... And, uh, let me start that over. I can't read my writing. Whatever the cause of these temporal, electromagnetic, and biological oddities, it seems as though nobody is really anxious to figure them out, and you can't, you can't blame them. You really can't blame them. I, I, I'm, I've i just heard about it and just now reading about it and doing a report just from my research. I wouldn't go there if you paid me. God knows how long you'll be there. I'm, I'm 56 years old. <laughs> it 
Do you want to be in my mid seventies when I come out of there? Eh, I don't think so. At any rate, of course. Now, wait a minute. Let me let me let me rephrase that. For the people on the plateau, maybe only a couple of months pass, so I'll still be fifty six, but my son will be in his mid thirties. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. He's sixteen now. So, at any rate, do your own research on the Barsac Plateau, and if you find out any more information, or if you find anything that I missed, you know, please stick it in there, or any, any contradictory information, something I got wrong, put that in there, I'm not perfect, I never claimed to be, but anyway, stick that in the comments, I'm sure we'd all love to read them, you, you hope this finds everybody well, you folks have a really, really good day, God bless one and all. Devo Poland, a scientific representative of a pacifist race called the Gandiri, is sent away as an exchange officer. His objective, to learn the one skill his species never developed, to fight. And he's sent to learn that skill from the one species who does it better than any other in the galaxy, humans. If you like science fiction with an upbeat military tone, check out my novel, Vanguard One.